What is up guys? It's your boy Travizi here and I'm so excited to be doing another San Francisco Giants video and today guys we are going to be talking about the game against the New York Yankees as the Yankees came to town for interleague play. It marks only the second visit that they've ever had coming into San Francisco and so on a Friday night in the Bay Area it was an exciting time to go down to the ballpark and catch some interleague play against the Yankees. Well, Madison Bumgarner, guys, did not fare well in this one. He struggled very mightily, uh, got off to a rough start in the first inning, ultimately ended up going five and two-thirds innings, gave up 11 hits, five earned runs, which raises his ERA on the year now to 4.30 ERA. And so the question is, what has happened to Madison Bumgarner? Because... Um, he's been healthy this year, but has not pitched anything like what he has done in the past. And when you consider the last couple of years, he's had some injuries. Um, so now we're, you know, we're really starting to look at a bigger, um, sample size of kind of what's been going on with Bumgarner. And, you know, it's just hard to figure out, but the thing, one, some of the things that have been happening is that people have been loading their lineups with a lot of righties against Bumgarner. So Bumgarner, if you look at the numbers, um, he's neutralizing lefties still at a very good clip. Uh, they're only hitting a buck 43 against him, but righties are hitting very well. So managers are loading up with righties. And not only that, but the righties are, are using the pull side against Bumgarner and having a lot of success um, while doing that. Madison Bumgarner's uh, first pitch strike percentage this year is the highest rate in the major leagues. So what you expect is hitters are going to go up there and they're going to look to hunt early in the count. You know, they're going to be looking for a certain pitch and their certain happy zone. And then they're going to try to light it up and do something against Bumgarner. And this strategy has worked really well as hitters are just bombarding him on that first pitch because they know he's going to be near the strike zone. And so... Um, and that's the other crazy thing is like, you know, in hitting, it's like you always want to go opposite field a lot of times. Now when you're talking pull side, that's a different approach. So yeah, it is going to be interesting moving forward what Bumgarner is going to do. Um, he's gotten off to slow starts in prior years and been able to rebound. But, you know, is this situation a lot different? Because, you know, again, it's a longer sample size of him pitching, struggling, whether it could be still lingering effects from the injuries, uh, but we do not know. So, so yeah, guys, the Giants scored three runs in this game on five hits, so not a lot of offense, um, and the defense committed two errors, so a little bit off for the defense, but, you know, um, yeah, I mean, this game was, uh, it was what it was, um, you know, wish we could have got a win, but again, you know, it's kind of hard to do that when you get, you play behind the eight ball early in the game. So going through the box score, guys, uh, Tyler Austin was able to uh, get back in the lineup. Um, he's been out for quite some time due to elbow inflammation. And what it led to is a report that I read that the Giants are shopping for another outfielder via trade. So um, the Giants, I think, are concerned about Tyler Austin's health um, moving forward. And so, you know, they're looking to see what's out on the market. So it was good to see him get back in the lineup. He had a hit, two walks, got his average up to 286. Brandon Bell went one for three, guys. Buster Posey went one for three, had two RBIs, and he's got his average up to 234. So again, we're starting to see Posey kind of come out of that slump, um, which as a Giants fan, it is very exciting to see. Um, Salarte got a start, guys. He went one for three. And uh, out of the bullpen, uh, Nick Vincent continues to pitch very well. That was another. He had a good outing, went one and a third innings pitched, got his ERA down to 1.84. And then Mark Melanson pitched an inning, finally gave up some runs. He's been having an excellent season, so it's been exciting to see him healthy because it's really helped the Giants a lot. Um, Melanson's ERA now up to 1.54. So, guys, um, the Giants tomorrow will try to send, will try to get a W, get back in that win column as they send Derek Holland to the mound against the New York Yankees at Oracle Park. It should be a good matchup. I'm very much excited uh, to see a good game, and let's get him, guys. Until next time, I'll see you again.